Hi guys, it's Max here with DartsReviews.tv in association with DartsPlanet.tv. We got some Target Scott Williams Black Edition darts. Obviously, he's come out with his other ones, and these are now the Black Edition. I think they look a bit better in the black, personally, but what we'll do is we'll head on over to the board, have a closer look. Okay, so we're over at the table, and we have the new Scott Williams Shaggy Black darts here from Target, the SP. 90% tungsten, we've got the 23 gram version here. The box itself has the lovely sort of image of Scott Williams there and close up sections of the dart in the midsection. Over on the back, we got the full setup of the dart image there, another image of Scott Williams, and what comes in the packaging here as well. Target logo and obviously the lifetime guarantee and everything, and barcode down the bottom. So let's get them out, have a closer look. Comes in this EVA foam insert, you've got the SP point tool there, the three darts all fully set up, which is really, really good. Um, it really stands out with the yellow stem and everything as well. So let's get one of the darts out, have a closer look, we'll get this one. Starting at the front, you've got a standard smooth SP point, um, standard sort of length there, not too long. Um, and then we go into the long taper from the front section to, I'd say, about a third of the way up. It's got the Target logo etched on there, and you have those lateral grooves and the two grooves cut in there, adding like a wide-ish sort of ring. And then we go into this very deep cut V section of the rings here. Not quite a sharp grip. Um, I'd say the very, very points themselves aren't too sharp. They've almost been tapered off, so to get rid of that catching when you run your finger over. Um, and that's on the taper back from that section. And then we go back into three grooves inlaid with the yellow, and then a nano ring section at the back, which adds another sort of grip element if you are more of a rear gripper. And then you've got the short target yellow stems. Um, the actual dart itself, obviously front weighted, um, very, very grippy on this very wide, um, almost sharp razor grip. And as I said, as I run my finger, it's got like slightly tapered off, really. Um, you can sort of like slightly see a difference there. So it's not as sharp as a proper razor grip, but it's definitely very, very grippy. But it's right on the push point of that taper as well. Um, We've got here the 23 gram version, which are 43.5 millimeters in length and eight millimeters wide at the widest point. Obviously at the back, it's gonna be slightly less. Um, do like the looks of these compared to the silver ones. It's obviously not a striking black. It's more of a like gunmetal gray black sort of color to it. But I think it adds a really nice element um, and with the extra lateral and grooves there on the long tapered nose, again, it adds a grip element if you are a front gripper. But uh, what I think we'll do is we'll head on over to the board and we'll have a throw. Okay, so we're over in the dark room with some target darts. We got the Scott Williams Black Edition. Looking a lot nicer than the silver ones. I do like that sort of like dark gunmetal black, grey, whatever you want to call it. Some people say it's grey, some people say it's black. Look really, really vibrant with the yellow as well. As you know, last time I threw the Scott Williams starts, they were very grippy. I struggled a little bit. So let's see if we can improve and do a little bit better. So let's have a couple of throws to get used to us and then go into our practice routine. Let's see how we get on. Oh, straight in the treble. 85. Didn't maximise that treble to start, but at least they're going relatively straight. I am holding them a little bit lighter. 4 oh, going to the left. Oh, only 30, but they're all around that wire. I think we should be okay. Not getting the greatest scores, but they're going nice and straight. They're going in at a nice angle. So let's go into our 201 practice routine. Game on. Make an adjustment. Oh, there we go. A nice steady ton. 
101 left to get. Adjustment works okay. Oh, 15. Oh, just on the outside. 69 scored. We left ourselves 32. Hitting my own dart. Have to move over. There we go. In nine darts. We made the adjustment on that last one. A little bit unfortunate not to get the double straight away, but getting in nine darts for a grippy dart, I'm more than happy with that. Really, really happy with the flight. It dug into the board at a lovely angle, so I could sort of like deflect in off of my other one. Except on that last one, I sort of blocked myself off. But uh, yeah, let's go have a final thought. Well, I had a little bit of double trouble. Started off with a nice steady ton. Uh, couldn't quite get the 32 as quick, so it did take me nine darts. Um, for a grippy dart, me throwing like that, I was more than happy. Um, I'm not exactly sure how I threw his other ones, but personally, I feel these are quite as grippy as these other darts. I think the coating like diminishes the sharp edge, just that ever so much um so i'm going to give it a grip rating of four um still a very grippy dart um i'm not sure if it suited me as a rear gripper i think it is going to be better for a sort of like mid or front gripper because it's quite a shortish sort of barrel compared to what i'm used to but again playing with the setup and everything i think it's going to suit a lot of people down especially if you like a grippy dart um the weights that this come in is just 23 and 25 gram not a massive range it's the same as these other darts but again it's it's down to the individual player and what it is they really really like and like because it's quite a wider sort of dart you get a nice angle into the board with those weights price point is 65 pounds and 95 pence fantastic price point for a player's dart it is a 23 gram 90 percent barrel these ones so again uh 65 pound 95 that's a great price point i think that's dead smack in the middle of what you pay for normal darts let alone a player's star um if you agree or disagree with anything i've said in this video head on down to the comments let us know or even if you've got any questions about them or how they felt or anything like that i do try and get back to you as soon as i can Head on over to dartsreviews.tv and dartsplanet.tv. There's reviews um, going back through all the darts that we've had. And there's articles and everything to do with competitions, players, all sorts. Something for everyone when you've got five minutes or half an hour. Make sure you tick subscribe and tick the notification bell. Lots of stuff coming up in the future. Hopefully something ideal just for you. And as always, come back and check us out again soon. Bye.